We're talking with John Christoph Valtat, who is the keynote speaker here at the Watch City Festival and just gave a, a wonderful talk about Jules Verne as the, the father of steampunk. And I wondered if we could expand upon that a little bit and just kind of talk about your relationship with the work of Jules Verne and how that relates to steampunk. Um, I think I'm, I'm a bit of a latecomer uh, to Verne. I was into Poe before I was into Verne, as I said in a, during the talk. But I think that um, I mostly read it after I started writing steampunk. And um, what I find inspirational in his, in his work is his way to tackle uh, the, the global scale, the economy, the politics. He's very good at that. And also the fact that he's a visionary writer, writing from uh, texts and books, and um, this new kind of imagination that I find very modern and very inspiring. You talked about his, his geopolitical nature, his, his ability to kind of encompass the, the entire scope of humanity in his work and how that affects steampunk as well. And it's kind of interesting that, you, you know, around the world in 80 days is essentially a metaphor for the shrinking of the world and then 80 hours and then, of course, with the advent of space travel, 80 minutes were around the world. And you also talked about uh, parallels between himself and Poe's work and the one that I found most fascinating was the parallel between his work and, and the work of Philip K. Dick. Um, could you talk a little bit more about that? What I say about K. Dick is, is uh, I, w I was quoting K. Dick saying that um, the, the weak point of science fiction was um, the inability to deal with sex and I think Verne has the same ability because he was writing for uh, um, uh, for kids, so this is what I was saying about Verne and Kedik. And it, it, it's also kind of been interesting when you when you think about some of the uh, grandmasters of science fiction, um, Robert Heinlein, for example, who started off as a juvenile writer himself, mm -hmm. and yet some of those books today are still revered as some of his best work. So. I think that in French culture, the divide between uh, the book for the kids and the book for adults is very, uh, it's an important divide. Uh, also the fact that science fiction is not really as respected as a genre that it is here, and that's part of um, Verne's problem that doing what, writing what he was writing uh, for kids, he wasn't going to be very respected by other writers, but I think it's different in the States. I think it's a lot different in the States. The name of your new book is? Uh, Aurorama. It just uh, it was published in 2010, and it's now issued in paperback. And there'll be the sequel in October, I think. It's called Luminous Chaos. And we'll have links to that on our website. Thank you so much for joining Thank us today. For it was a pleasure. This interview it was nice talking to you.